किया गया श्रृंखला संपृष्टियाम I could not repay your spotless service to me. Please be satisfied by your own greatness. Then the gopis may answer, "But you are not just Brahma. You have a long lifespan, even more than him. You are Bhagwan also. Therefore, you can repay in your long, long life, eternal life." Krishna said, "Even then, I cannot repay you." Therefore, Krishna, he said, "I cannot offer a benediction." Because if I offer benediction, you will ask for service. I will become more indebted, more indebted, more indebted. Therefore, Krishna said, "I am defeated by you. Is not I cannot repay you." And the Gopi said, "No, Krishna. Even in defeat, you are victorious. <laughs> Because you defeat, you admit you are defeated by us. Therefore, we are defeated by you. Therefore, even in losing, you are still the victor." The Guru Maharaj said, "Such a sweet dialogue, like not like a competition, but..." Is that each is trying to please the other, even though there is no room for Prem to expand. Still, the gopis are increasing their affection for Krishna and trying to please him in every way. And even though Krishna's affection for the gopis cannot expand, still he is expanding and trying to please the gopis. Therefore, there is a loving is a reciprocation between Krishna and the gopis. Therefore, in this world, if we want to have Prema, we should have Prema like this. Go Prema. drama starts uh, i'd like to just uh, mention the tomorrow's program as well as recognize some of the supporting organizations that are here uh, today tomorrow today is the of course the second last day and tomorrow is the indeed the last day of the festival and uh, we have got uh, uh, tomorrow at 7:30 a.m. Uh, davinder maharaj is going to be uh, giving a lecture Shamarani Didi is at 10 o'clock, and uh, Shruti Maharaj is at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, some of the programs will uh, need a little bit change because we have to empty this hall between 11 a.m. and 1 a.m. p.m. Uh, for Tiruka Bari. They have a regular program during those two hours, so we'll try to adjust uh, some of our program to accommodate that. In addition to that, uh, Druga Bari is also be uh, going to be sponsoring the luncheon prasadam for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow being the last day, uh, we have got Bhagwat Puja is going to be held tomorrow. So please bring flowers and offerings, whatever we, you wish to offer to Sri Lakshmi, as well as uh, get his blessings and. The Bhagwat Puja will start sharply at 6:30 p.m. So please be on time. Now, in terms of, so we are fortunate in uh, Houston that we have a number of uh, organizations which uh, support us, and I'll read out the names and some of the representatives are here in spite of the uh, rain that we are having, and we'd like to recognize them and ask them to come to the stage and uh, uh, get blessings uh, from Rudey. Uh, those uh, organizations which support our programs are Hindu Worship Society. Uh, we have had number of programs there. Rudey also has uh, given katha at that place in the past years. Uh, Shrini Temple uh, is is also one of those organizations, and Mr. Murli is here, and uh, I would ask him to come over uh, to the stage as well. In addition to that, uh, Sri Radha Krishna Temple has also helped us, and we have uh, Guru Maharaj have, has had katha there as well. Uh, Banke Bihari Parivar. I do not know if Meera Ji is here. I do not see her. But if there is anybody from Banke Bihari Parivar, uh, please come to the stage. Uh, Druga Bali Temple. Uh, what can I say about them? Uh, they have really helped us. Uh, we are having the, this program uh, here at this. 
this hall and uh, Champak Sadhu was here. I do not know whether he's still here. If he's here, please uh, come to the stage. Uh, we also have support from Gujarati Samaj and Guru Maharaj again has done Bhagavad Katha there a few years back. Uh, the Hindu Worship Society, we have got uh, Prem Paveja. Uh, please come on. And uh, the last uh, organization uh, which has supported us is uh, Sita Ram Parivar and uh, Usha Ji is here from that. Uh, Usha Ji. Is Usha Ji here? Yeah, Usha Ji has been uh, instrumental uh, in, in supporting us as well, and uh, she's heading up uh, the Sita Ram Parivar here in Houston. Uh, I'd like you to all give these organizations who have supported us in the past and continue to support us a very big hand. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhuji, and thanks once again. Um, so tomorrow, as Arun Prabhuji announced, that from 11 to 1, uh, the temple here they have the regular program, so they need uh, this place. So, slightly change in the program, and since. Oh, yes, sorry. From Durga, yeah, from Durga Padi Temple, we have the wife of Sri Dr. Vishnupad Goswami to receive uh, the blessings from Sri Gurudev. I must say that Durga Padi Temple has been very, very supportive. They have requested that uh, we do these programs on a regular basis. They have invited, they have an annual function in November and they have invited Bhad Maharaj to come and do Katha every year. Yes. So this is Mr. Champak Sadhu. Many of you may not know, but he is the nephew of our dear Uma Didi in Vrindavan. So the only change in the program tomorrow I wanted to, uh, since this hall needs to be used, so we will be starting, sorry, <laughs> Dr. Vishnupad Goswami from Maheshwara Guru Saksat Param Brahma Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha Akhanda Mandala Karam Vyaptam Jena Characharam Tatpadam Darsitam Jena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha Brahma Nandam Param Sukhadam Kevalam Gana Murtim Dandati Tamagana Sarisam Tatya Masya Dilakspanam Ekam Nityam Vivala Machanam Saravati Sakshi Bhutam Bhavati Tam Trigadurahitam Sadhguru Tanganamami Sadhguru Tanganamami Sadhguru Tanganamami One thing more, as the visual each year, 
और ब्रजमंडल परिक्रमा विल बी डन सो आई एम इन्वाइटिंग यू ऑल टू ज्वाइन एंड एंजॉय दैट प्रोग्राम फॉर वन मंथ वेरी डिशेंट दिस प्रोग्राम एंड ऑल्सो फॉर नवदीप परिक्रमा आई एम इन्वाइटिंग यू ऑल We also just uh, Mrs. Meera Gidwani from Panke Pihari Parivar. She also just arrived. I would like to request her to come on the stage and also receive blessings from Guru Dev on behalf of Panke Pihari Parivar. Meera ji, she is also very active in the community here and has always supported us in everything that we have done. And today, the nice chapatis. Every day you have been eating naans. Today she has brought 500 chapatis for all the devotees. So they have changed their program so that we can continue our program as it is. So, the only change is Damodar Maharaj is actually going to give the class from the flight, and we have no way to hear from him from the aeroplane because he is leaving at four o'clock. So instead of him, Shyama Rani Devi will be giving the class at seven thirty in the morning. We'll have an early at nine o'clock, and then we'll have a class by Shri Pad Tirth Maharaj at ten o'clock. And at around twelve o'clock, Shri Pad Dandi Maharaj will be speaking from a scientific perspective, the basis of our Gaudiya Vaishnav philosophy. So two hours class by Tirth Maharaj, and then one hour by Dandi Maharaj. And also tomorrow there is a fire sacrifice, and then several devotees took initiation. So please, all of you, be here sharp by nine o'clock tomorrow morning. If I think Indra Dev will not be will be very merciful tomorrow, it would not rain, so we can have a yagya. Uh, hopefully the rain will stop. In case it doesn't stop, we will serve the prasadam in the lobby. But I think in another hour, by the time our program is over, the rain will stop and we'll serve the prasadam at the usual place. And now we have some announcements by the Gaudiya Vedanta Publications. In the meantime, we will prepare for the uh, drama. And before Vishwambha Prabhu speaks, I would just like to make an announcement that you have been hearing such nectarian Hari Katha from Shri Guru Dev, and Shri Guru Dev has been speaking like this for years, for decades. And because of all the technological advancement, we have been able to preserve his lectures. And more than three thousand of his lectures are available, of which at least one thousand are Hindi lectures. Very sweet. I remember when we first met Shri Guru Dev. Guru Dev would speak for hours and hours. Very nectarian lectures, and available at a throwaway price. So Ishadas Prabhu has a table outside for a throwaway price. They are available in MP3 format. So please take these, and this is you can hear them for the rest of your life. God be with you. Hare Krishna. We would like also to. We are also like to remind you all that there is by Guru Sri Ram Guru Dev's mercy a Vedic University accredited course that is being offered online. That is for the first time. It is recognized by Florida Vedic University Bhakti Shastri course. You can read. It's a 60 credit hour course. There are certain books that are mentioned that will be taught in that course, and all these exalted devotees will give those classes online. There will be tests given. You have to pass the course. 
and then you will get the certificate that will be Bhakti Shastri. So then you will be really recognized as a certified preacher. So please contact purebhaktistudies.com. All of the audience here are well educated and you have got many degrees, PhD, Masters and you are earning your living in the material world. But this is a degree that is going to give you some step to enter into the spiritual world. So please take advantage of this course that is being offered online and then you can be also helping others in learning, in, in getting into devotional service. So please contact bhaktistudies.com that website is there and Achyut Krishna Das or if you want more information contact me here. And Mahabudi Prabhu has told me that he wants to know anybody who is preaching best to come here before the program is over. They know who all are preaching in Midwest. Haribo. Say the best news for last. Gurudev has just completed dictating 11th Canto and 12th Canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. The most fundamental book of our Gaudiya tradition. He has accepted the remnants of our Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada and has completed the Srimad Bhagavatam dictating. So now, after completing this, Gurudev, this is Gurudev's main activity around the world, anywhere he's at, everywhere, if he's, if he's preaching, if he's anywhere. In Parikram, he is always dictating and writing the books and, and translating the books of our Acharyas. This is his most important activity. So as his disciples, it is our duty to try to assist him in this service. And the only way we could assist them is two ways. Either by distributing his books or sponsoring his books to be distributed. So we get, we're giving an opportunity for everybody, everybody over here to support the distribution of Gurudev's books by sponsoring books in the West Coast to be given to the New Bridge Gurukul School in Badger. Born in the East Coast, there's going to be a small party. Krishna Rose is going to be traveling to all the yoga centers. Krishna so if you, if you like to end the loka in the West Coast. So if you like to sponsor books or distribute books yourself, you can come to the book table. We have a lot of specials, up to 40% off cost. And we have 12 new books that have just landed from India and America. So check it out. all around the world. So please support the service which is most dear to Gurudev's heart. So I think we are ready for the drama. And as uh, you, many of you might be aware, one of the other uh, desire of Sri Gurudev is to restore the pastimes, the places of Krishna's pastime in Kurajmanda. Krishna appeared 5,000 years ago and there are hundreds and hundreds of places of his pastimes in Kurajmanda. But unfortunately, the government of India is not taking care of these ancient places. And Sri Gurudev has started a project to restore several of these places to their original glories. And one of the projects is Kunda restoration. There are at least a thousand Kundas in Prajmantar, but they have become very polluted. The water is very dirty. So we have started a project to start cleaning that water and restore those Kundas. So anyone who would be interested in helping with this project, 
There is a booth outside Kunda Restoration Project and Bhumipati Prabhu is here who can provide much more information. They have a DVD which explains the entire project and it will be a great service to our Guru Parampara and Shri Krishna. God be upon assembled Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis. We very humbly present this drama at your lotus feet. Our hope is that in a small way we may please you and do some seva. Please accept this as our offering and forgive all of our mistakes and offences. The drama we are performing tonight is from Sri Chamatkar Chandrika, a moonbeam of complete astonishment. By Sri Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur. And it is the second mischievous playful pastime entitled Sri Krishna disguised as Abhimanyu. Once, Sri Radha, the beautiful young daughter of Rishabhanu Maharaj, took a vow to regularly bathe in the Jamuna River early in the morning. This filled the less intelligent Kutila, her sister in law, with suspicion because it was the month of Marga, the coldest part of the winter. One morning, when Sri Radha had left for the river, Kutila became very curious to know what she was really doing. The behavior of my dearest sister-in-law, Kutila, is highly peculiar and very suspicious. Who would think that she wishes to bathe in this coldest of seasons? We all know that she and that thief of women, Krishna, must be meeting secretly. But how can I prove it? Hmm. I know. I will go to that house of Nanda Maharaj and see whether Krishna is at home or not. Also, I will see if Radha actually took the path for the Jamuna. Kudila was actually very eager at heart to see Krishna, and thus she set out for the residence of Raja's king. There she learned for some, from some servants that Sri Krishna's mother, Yashoda, had sent him to bathe in the river. Her suspicions redoubled, and so she set off tracking his unique footprints to the riverside. She very much wanted to go to the place where Krishna was enjoying beautiful pastimes with Sri Radha. Charming festival has made the birth of Kamdev, the god of love, 
unlimitedly successful. Nonetheless, there is something you need to know. Kutila is coming here from French just to catch a glimpse of the wonderful festival. She's almost here. Oh no, where is she? Tell us. I just saw her in front of the Chatikara forest. She must almost be here. Oh, Sakis, you must stay here in the Kunj, and I will disguise myself as Abhimanyu. Then, with my brilliant intelligence, I shall cheat Kutila, and thus further increase our mischievous merrymaking. You shall see the end to this affair, as surely as you will see the rising of the sun. Sri Krishna went into another kunj, where Vrinda Devi, the goddess of the forest, gave him clothes and ornaments that exactly resembled those of Abhimanyu. He dressed himself in them and attentively covered all of his distinguishing characteristics. Adopting Abhimanyu's voice, he set off down the path on which Kutila was approaching. Ah, can a person who is fully adept in all varieties of arts ever fail to accomplish his desired goal? Certainly not. Ah, Kutila, what are you doing wandering around this part of Raj at this time of day? I am searching for your wife. My wife? What would she be doing here? She came to bathe in the river Jamuna, or so she says. But it is just a pretext. She is somewhere very close by. And where is that thief of women, Krishna? He also came to bathe, and he is somewhere nearby also. When our mother heard about this, she sent me here to investigate. Tell me, brother, what should I do? Well, sister, I came here to look for my new bull. He broke loose and ran away when I was yoking him to plow the field. My heart has been troubled because he has probably been stuck. But that pain does not compare to the anguish I am experiencing on account of that rape Krishna stealing my wife that no man can tolerate. I shall go straight to King Kamsa in Mathura. He will punish that thief in a way he deserves. Please, hear my plan. I will hide in this kunj while you go and search for Radhika. If you find her alone, bring her here on some pretext. But if you find her with Krishna, observe them from a distance and then take me their secret. When Kutila, whose nature is exceedingly crooked, heard all of these instructions, she began to search all the kunjas from Kaliyahuga to Keshigat. There, near Keshigat, she came to a flower garden where she found Sri Radha, who is endowed with pure fragrance and who is the flower vine of her mother Kirtika's fame. She was surrounded by her sakis, who was serving her attentively. Ah, oh, Kutila, have you come to take bath? No. Then why have you come? I have come to learn of your moral character. My moral character? Very good, then you should learn. Oh, Lalita, I have already understood Everything. Understood? What have you understood? Tell us. The scent of Hari tells all. What more can I say? Hari? A lion? Kutila! If you can smell a lion here, it must be hiding somewhere nearby. We are simple, tender young girls and therefore fearful. We will run home. You have shown us such pure affection by coming here to give us this warning. Oh, you chaste girls! And will you proclaim the name of your families from forest to forest as you go? Open the door to that Kadamba Kund and let me look inside. A forest god has closed the entrance to his bower house with a door of reeds. He has gone elsewhere, 
and it is not appropriate to open the door to his Kadamba Grove. What woman would dare to commit the sin of trying to open the door to another man's house? What you say is true. You are just a pure and simple girl and have never entered anyone else's house in your life. However, you do know very well how to facilitate a paramour's entrance into your own house. You have come in this world to teach from the scripture that explains how to facilitate a paramour's entrance into the house of a young girl from a chaste family. <laughs> Your vow of bathing in the river Jamuna will result in so much highest merit. Such austerities will enable you to purify the families of both your father and your father-in-law. I see that here on the riverbank, you are also worshiping the sun god properly. Tell me, do you want to go home? Or would you rather stay here day and night, earning pious merit? My ears are anxious to hear your answer. Oh, Kuchila, why are you becoming angry unnecessarily? I swear to you, by your brother, that that necklace is not mine. Please calm down. If you do not want to go home, then don't. But I am going to show this garland and this necklace to my mother and Bhagavati Purnamasi. I will see to it that you are properly punished. Oh, Kutila, you are free to go. You can go from house to house showing everyone this necklace. I do not fear this in the least, because it is not mine. Do not make false accusations against me. Everything. 
everything. And ten cavalrymen are on their way here. But that licentious child, he is on his way to this very house. Sister, you should go lock the outside gate and then wait inside with mother. Keep a lookout for that young Dabaji. When he comes, attack him with sharp and cutting words. And stones! Yes. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, I will wait with your sister-in-law on the ground floor of the house. Successful, they always bear fruit. She right here, I did. Abhimanu was beaten by his own mother and sister Jatila and Kutila. How big a state. This is a story of perhaps Vishwanath Chakrabarti Thakur Chamatkar Chandrika. Oh, it is wonderful and wonderful. My blessing to you all to play the role of Krishna, play of Jatila and Kutila, also Abhimanu. Also, eh, Radhika, Lalita, Vishakha and the others. My blessings and you should learn pure bhakti and try to enter in Krishna Go.
And please, nobody leave without any prasham. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Parker, <laughs>